Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about the state of competitive Smash Bros. You might think it's all sunshine when we pop in on those, but in reality it's kind of shit right now. Like, the way it's ran by the actual developers does not work. Because, like, they do not support competitive at all. Like, Melee was one of the most competitive esports of all time. It's one of the biggest esports, like Counter-Strike League, all that. It's one of the biggest esports, right? But Ultimate is the game we're going to be focusing on. Ultimate's the newest game. It's the most uh, popular right now, I think. Like, Smash 4 suffered as a competitive game for multiple reasons. But even though it suffered as a competitive game because of Rage and all that, it still is better than Ultimate with this competitive scene. It's like, I think when Ultimate came out, like, the developers really put their foot down with how competitive should be ran and how it should work, because they only want Smashes to casual games, items on, final smashes, casual stages, they don't like the competitive, and they're all, they don't want to know how online should be ran, they don't have, they don't support servers, so it lags all the time, and it's not good for Ultimate and the fighting game community. Alright, let's talk about Melee. Probably to most of the best Smash game and the best competitive scene out of the Smash game. It worked so well because Nintendo didn't care about the melee competitive scene. Like they didn't care. They they was supported more than Ultimate Team. Like some people go as far to say Brawl, which is mostly seen as the most casual Smash game, had a better competitive scene than Ultimate does. Because, like, until Ultimate, they never really put their foot down. And Ultimate came out in 2018, and the coronavirus started in 2020. There's a lot of problems with that. Because, you know, you got only online melee, which is bad, because Ultimate's online was awful. I think everyone knows that. With bad online and the virus, can we ever everyone home? It just did not fit well with Ultimate. And Ultimate has 84 matchups that you have to learn, which most people consider good, but lots of people consider that bad for a competitive. So you have to learn so many matchups and new characters are coming out. But at least there's like no... I think the best part about Ultimate, for competitive at least, is there's no like really decidable best character. I feel like almost every Smash game before it had a character that just everyone was the best. But Ultimate really doesn't, like, Smash 64, Pikachu, Smash Melee had Fox, Smash Brawl had Meta Knight, and Smash 4 had Banner. But Ultimate, like, it's in between Pikachu, Wario, who, like, Palutena, Joker, like, there's so many top three characters that could be considered the best. So it's kind of hard to decide who's the best, which is pretty good for Ultimate, but it's just underutilized because of how many characters are on how many people play. Alright, now that we're done ranting, let's go over stuff that I think Ultimate's doing good right now. There are things that Ultimate's doing really well that are really work. Ultimate is, like, Ultimate... What am I saying? Smash has never been a game that's always had, like, big content creation. Like, YouTube videos and Google shows. Smash has never been a game that's always had that. Until Ultimate. Like, recently there's been, like, YouTubers like the Underdogs and Panda Guys. Like, they've all been... Making a lot of Ultimate content, I think that's because of all the new game modes and all the new characters that are in Ultimate, content creation can go wherever it wants. Like, you see all the underdogs coming over the original ideas because there's so much content in Ultimate. Like, there's World of Light, you got the Smashdown, which is something they all do. So, like, Ultimate's never been a really big content creation game or just Smash as a whole until Ultimate. So I think that's something doing really well. Like the content creation in Ultimate's really good. Like I think it's great how it's working right now. All right, now that we're done 
being positive about how well the content creation is. Let's go back to the bad stuff. Ultimate has, like, never had such a toxic- A game has never had, like, such a toxic player base until Ultimate. Like, you were going Ultimate online and you got these kids who think they're so much better. And they play a cheap character, they probably play Isabelle and grab you a million times and throw you off in two bags in the game. And then they, like, in the rematch thing, they just, like, they're, it's annoying. Like, the Blader is, like, even in the Smash Ultimate, the official Smash, Ult Smash Ultimate Discord server, you always get people complaining and whining about stuff in the game, and just being a little host, like, every week in the Smash Ultimate Discord, they'll host, like, a room, and, like, you'll be in a Discord call. And they'll just be complaining, whining, screaming how you're playing. And it's just, oh my god, it's bad. Like, this game just to me is hella toxic, which I think is bad. It's bad. A game with a toxic community. Like, it's fine to have a toxic community sometimes. I feel like Counter Strike and League and CSGO, their community's toxic, but it's not, like, malicious. But this game is just like, why? Why is it this bad?